could hear me. Is that your new tape? Star-Lord? Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the Space Riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your Space Rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out! Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma! What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm -hmm. Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and... You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, we'd look up at the stars and he'd... Tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> oh! Peter! We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. Stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. It ain't just a junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. I am Groot. Hey! Ah, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confident. <laughs> arrested? For what? Our ship just accidentally slipped into the quarantine zone. Oops, our navigation malfunctioned. Oops. <sighs> How would we accidentally cross into the Nova Corps force field? Details. <laughs>
Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Once we breach that force field, there's no going back. Your black market codes are gonna crack that Nova net, right? Yep. As soon as you enter them in your console. Okay, here we go. Rocket Groot Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Nova Core security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. And if we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Nova net still up? Thought we were going in. Well, it appears the assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor codes are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. 0451. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to integrate temporal coordinates and our ship's hard-coded serial into a local number generator. Info gets in, digits come out. Four of them. Yeah. There. wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacore had 12 years to get rid of the heavy-duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Rodent. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overall. Plus, there's good money in it. The piece that we seek is far more valuable to the Monster Queen of Sekhnoth 9 than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, the place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <clears throat> friend? For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Group Quell Soda. Team Rockets up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the Assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? What? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks to the drop side. Grounds to escape to land a ship, you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, group. Don't worry. Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. Baby. It's a ship here, not a child. Ah. Oh, can you imagine? 
What, the pink goo? It's custom nano rest. Uh, okay. Yes, sir. Oh! Huh. You okay, Quill? Yeah, I think so. This, uh, pink resin stuff's definitely strong enough to hold this place together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, probably strong enough. Nah, it's totally safe. Now, can we please focus less on the toxic goo and more on all this cool war junk it's holding together? I'm broke. I didn't mean toxic toxic. More, uh, don't put it in your mouth toxic. You find something we can sell? Nah, just some old correspondence. You know how I like to brush up on galactic war history. Um, uh, no? Don't think I've ever seen you read anything without pictures. I read plenty of non-picture stuff. Settle an argument, Rodent. What is this omnipresent pink substance made of? You mean the Ebrium-based nano-resin cluster foam? Never show something without many dashes in its face. Is it caustic? Not if it stays outside you. Just don't eat any, or get any in your eyes. Thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that spanned the entire galaxy held together by pink goo. Abrium based nano resin. Whatever. I'm just saying it's a lot to take in. Oh, look! Yellow and blue. Looks like an old Novacore frigate. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy, why'd he even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so... Flap broke, Rocket. We need a big break. Aren't you tired of eating Yarrow Root? It's so... mealy. Listen, this is a restricted zone. Whatever monster lives here, nobody else has one. Lady Hellbender values rarity in her acquisitions. Exactly. You know, I think I do sort of get it. Thousands of worlds fighting for some fleeting greater good. Yes, it is kind of poetic. I am good. Ah, cheer up. Just because the war was horrible doesn't mean there wasn't good times along the way. I am good. Yeah, I am mostly talking about stuff blowing up. Almost made yourself a very late war casualty. Not funny. You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us hanging out, just like when we started this gig, before you know who joined us. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. Quill's a swell guy. I hope you get that promotion, Rocket. Are you calling me a bootlicker? Come on, Rocket. Drax and Gamora are valued additions to the team. You're only saying that because she's listening. Is that why your plan has Drax and I taking the ship? Careful on that thing, Quill. You spot something out there? Just imagine what kind of blasters the Shatari had to use to wreck some of these frigates. I am good. I'm not being insensitive. I'm curious. And kind of jealous. Whoa! Pretty sure that way's a dead end. You sure? Ah, there we go. Path this way. Come on. How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey, group. You think we could find pieces of the Trion shard in here? You never heard of the Trion shard? Pyramid of pure evil that corrupts everything it comes in contact with. Ah, you happy, Quill? You found the thing I told you was there, but you didn't listen. A dead end. Mythical void. Death's black terminal. 
That's it. Walk of shame. <sighs> I am of course he could know. I told him. I heard Novacor once wanted to cover entire planets in Novanet, just like this place. I am Groot. You done gloating? Oh, I am never done gloating. I am Groot. Yep, classic me. After we sell the monster, I say we head to nowhere. Do some gambling. I am Groot. <laughs> you, you can't bluff your way out of a planting pot. But then, neither can Drax. Taking his share will be easy. All good, no worries. But watch your step, guys. This junk isn't as stable as you think. Take that, brittle stuff. Ugh. I hate these ship-eating parasites. Flarkers would chew right through the Milano in two cycles. Looks like they've got... <laughs> Gross. <laughs> nice splatter. Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the... Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the flarkin thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. I'm Groot. I'm thinking right in front, through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. I'm Groot. Uh, yeah, try not to think about it. It's better not to wonder what happened to anyone working on these old wrecks. It was a long time ago anyways. Without me, I'll catch up. Okay, there's a craft out Novacore missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. Okay, crawling through creepy old ship. No big deal. Easy there, Quill. Pretty sure nothing's gonna jump out at you, except maybe me and Groot. I shot a thing! I got it! First tool in the old toolbox! <laughs> now this brings back memories. again. Posterior is more round than fat. 
by a blob or something. Should've heard him squeal. You must fight with dignity, Peter Quill. Or at least die with it. Not funny. Well, we got a lot riding on your gal pal's mystery monster tip. I hope she's legit. Like you could even tell if she had an honest face. Yeah, she did smell like flowers. Too much. Probably to seduce Starstruck. Trust in the plan, guys. Everything is checked out so far, right down to the mining ship. We put our thumpers in the right places and we'll bag that monster. Mother of Scott! Are you kidding me? Son of a smash! That was too close! You okay, Groot? Well, we're fine, but we can't jump that. You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for me all the time. All right, Groot. Let's see that cool vine. Oh, it's one hell of a party trick, big guy. Gross. More ship eaters. Oh, they're everywhere. All right. Back to business. Boom. Right under your nose, Quill. I look worried. The resin will hold. I am Groot. You ain't that heavy. We gotta go that way, across the gap. Groot, I found a hitch. Can you latch onto it? Hey, Greenies. You see any blue and gold ships out there, you'll let us know. We have seen many such ships. He needs active ones. We haven't talked about what to do if we run into a Nova Corps patrol. Uh, we'll restrain them until we're done here. Bad idea. Those cops are all connected through their stupid helmets. If they do spot us, all they have to do is close that barrier and we're stuck. If you see cops, you get my ship out of here. Even if it means leaving us behind. Uh, what's that? Trust me, I've dealt with Nova Corps before. Even helped them catch real criminals. I can talk my way out. You think that Milano can outrun a full- <laughs> Okay, here we go. Alright, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Flark! No! No! Flark and Skaggy! Attack and batteries fried, that's what's wrong. Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery, with a charge. Okay. We're on what's left of a ship. Full of ship things. Gotta be things that power ship things around here, right? Yeah. Maybe you're gonna want to use your visor for this. You find a replacement while I finish scraping the fried wires. Peter Quill, the double agent is trying to lull me into a false sense of security. Right. And the moment you drop your guard, I'll strike. Aha! So you admit it. You got me. Got an oxygen pump here! No good. It would draw power directly from the ship. Right! Yeah. I knew that. <laughs> hey! A huge power generator! How do we hook it up? We don't! That thing would toast our little bumper. So much for that. Nova Centurions probably had to tow all the scrap to one place. Looks like this med kit is tuned to Cree biology. A shame we don't have any Cree on the team. You mean a blessing? Stop flarking around. Found a compressor. No charge. Ah, uh, no charge. No good. Rocket. have your room. There's hardly anything to mess up in there. As opposed to your room, which looks like it's already been messed up by a monster? I found something with a charge! 
Kind of looks like a spacey car battery. Okay, this thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The chance is minuscule, at best. You'll be fine. Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? Rocket! Help me scramble some critters! No, 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 Scott! If I don't rewire this fast, it's gonna short circuit! to see you fix it next time. Come on, two down, two to go. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? If the two of us gotta lug that monster- Guys! We deliver this monster to Lady Hellbender, we'll get bigger payouts, and jobs that don't suck. A ship for each one of us! I mean, a team only needs one ship. Grab some more spacious ship. What? No! I love my baby! We can modify her, I'd kill for a gunner's rotunda. We'll think about it. I'm Groot. Groot wants a plant. Groot, man! We will get you two plants. I'm Groot. Man! That thing is ridiculous. I think it was a ship or a robot. That's a pre-century. A robot, but it would have been space worth. <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. Plus half a dozen mega-century prototypes, star stealth models with modified sneak attack parameters. Impressive, but I could fly circles around something that big. Give me a fast and sexy M-Class scout over those things any day. I do appreciate that sweet Ravager pirate tech. She's made for hit and runs. <laughs> and boy, can she run. She can hit too. There's always room for more firepower, Quill. That sentry probably took on whole fleets. This old Kree tech gets me wondering where would I be now if those blue butt scuts managed to keep me locked into their half world experiments? <laughs> yeah, chances are you'd be climbing over bits of me right now. I wasn't even a person to the worst of the Kree's mad scientists. More like a real smart walking gun. A very talkative gun. <laughs> yeah, that part was an accident. They tried to fix it a few times. I am Groot. The entire facility was the problem. I wish I'd gone back and blown it up before the end of the war. Yes. What do I gotta do to get a last name like Jackson? Cause 
The Tathians have no need for surnames. What about the Destroyer? It is a moniker to mark the countless I slaughtered during a shameful period of untempered rage. Yeah, one of those! I could be Rocket the Ruthless. Cause I'm pretty sure I ain't had no room. Yep, that would have been a killing blow. Ha! Not even close! Groot, need you to shoot a bridge right into that eye socket. Now, I want to see you do that to something in combat. Wait, is that... Yes! I'm about to win this back well! Any bets on what this monster's gonna look like? How many legs? Like, uh, more than four? What does that look like? We shall see. Here goes nothing! <laughs> We're inside a giant robot head! And I've got robot parts inside my head! You have robot parts inside your head. Inside a giant robot head! BAM! <laughs> hey, bro! What do you think I should do when I win this battle? I mean with the units he'll owe me once I win. Don't congratulate him! Well, I know what I'll be doing with my winnings. I'm saving up for our next stop on Contraxia to get one of those Zeronian massages. Ugh, they're so predictable. Exactly! You suck, Star Todd! Let's see. When I beat Quill, I'm gonna get my hands on some rotating hypersets. Oh, no one knows what those are. Feeding on our bed quill. How can you hear that? Uh, you know what, Quill? I think it's unfair. You got two guns, I got one. I think my points should count double from now on. That's cheating. Then lose the second pistol. No way. All right, Thumper goes there, Quill. It's not gonna piss off every critter around, right? Sorry, Quill. Not taking no chances after the last one. I gotta test it real quick. Not again. Rocket! I only flip the switch on and off to see if it's gonna love that kill radius! Juicy! 